Hello, I'm your host, Professor Tola Bob, here with another book review, a graphic novel review, Wolverine Origin 1 and 2. Ooh. Now, when I first read these books, I thought they were amazing, grand, excellent works of art, because see for yourself. You get some good stencil design, plus it tells the story of James Harlett, a.k.a. Logan, a.k.a. Wolverine. As you can see, you get a, a grand piece of art. The story of Logan and James Harlett and how he became Wolverine. How his mutation began and what went on in his life and the life of his brother, Dog. Sorry about that, I had to take care of something. Anyways, I thought the story was really grand. It talked about a lot of things and it was a pretty tragic story. And it confirmed my theories about how mutants tri get their powers triggered. Good. It was happened when James Hallett A.K. Wolverine lost his father figure, uh, which triggered his mutation. Hmm. And I was fascinated, uh, and sorry I had a technical difficulty, but it really showed how Wolverine's transformation really was, and it really was an emotional journey and again this is truly works of art the artists who did this really did a lot of detail and not uh, of artistry of it all well, and it talked about what happened to Logan before, after his mutation, and and before he became an X-Man. And it talked about how Logan had to deal with a lot of things and his brother Dog having to track him down and kill him. And it gives you a little good letter about the story and... everything and it gives you character designs early designs sketch marks again truly works of art and pan pencil panels before they became colored I thought this, uh, this was a must have to buy so in Origin 2, it showcases the first appearance, one of the many appearances of Mr. Sinister, and the Essex, a.k.a. Nathan Essex, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Sinister, for good reason. And... There he is right there. And it showed... One of Wolverine's interactions with Sabretooth. Uh, Sabretooth, sorry, I have a frog in my throat. 
hit. Maybe just fix that. And And it talked about how, what happened after number one, and how he, James Hallett, before he became Wolverine, and, well, in Logan, talked about how he was living with wolves, and how he had to fight a bear. Uh, it was a little bloody. See, Essex Corporation. Again, I was really fascinated by this tale. Heroin, it was a definite must have to my collect, to my comic book collection. Um, and it showed what happened to James after number one. Before Wolver before he became Wolverine and joined the X-Men. This is a definite must-have you'd want to add to your collection. It's a tale of tragedy. Again, Wolverine's story is a tale of tragedy, redemption, and a quest for longing. It gives you some good fun art and some sketch art as well. Overall, I thought they were pretty good books. Graphic novels to have, and uh, definitely must have to your collection. Anyways, these are my opinions, please let me know in the comments below, and please link, like, and subscribe to my channel. And you can get these at Amazon, Best Buy, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Me, I got these on Amazon. They, I got this on Amazon, and I got this at the Gamers Den in Cambridge. And I thought they were really good. Good, and I think you should add them to your collection. And again, these are my pins, so let me know in the comments below, and please link, like, and subscribe to my channel. This is your host, Vesatola Park, signing off.